In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as sensual men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it, and indeed you are still not ready for it, since you are still unspiritual. Isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and wrangling that there is among you? From the way that you go on behaving like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual then your slogans, I am for Paul, and I am for Apollos. After all, what is Apollos, and what is Paul? They are servants who brought the faith to you. Even the different ways in which they brought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting, Apollos did the watering. But God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters, only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering, and each will duly be paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers with God. You are God's farm. God's building. The Word of the Lord. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as His own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen as His own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as His own. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, howling, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and we had caught up with him, 
They wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Simon's mother-in-law was sick, and they asked him, Jesus, to do something for her. It takes humility to ask for help. And so, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, are there areas in our life that we need help, that perhaps that we are sick spiritually or physically? Perhaps there are areas in our life that we are not so proud of, that we are not free. And today's reading invites us to approach Jesus for help. And so are there areas in our life where we need specifically the help of Jesus Christ? As we approach Jesus in the Eucharist, what is our disposition? Do we recognize our need for healing, for deliverance? Do we recognize our poverty? Perhaps all these difficult areas in our life, we have been going at it alone by our own will, and it has been tough. Today's sacred scripture invites us to approach Jesus for help. And so come, pray with me as we approach Jesus for help. God, our loving Father, we thank you, we thank you for our weaknesses, for they remind us that we need to rely on you for strength and protection. We thank you for our brokenness, our fragility, for it reminds us that only you can make us whole. God, our loving Father, we thank you for our sins, for they remind us that we continually need to approach Jesus for our salvation, for our redemption, for our healing, and to set us free. And we make this prayer in the most mighty name of Jesus. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbour. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.